Southwest Florida, welcome back to Leap is Live. You never know where we're going to pop up. You see all these people here. We'll get a pan of that later for a second. But they are filing out in to get some food all the way from Louisiana. We got a special chef here, and we got a special occasion. It's the retirement ceremony party for Ken Byrne, the renowned educator here in Southwest Florida. Uh, now he's uh, finishing up as the principal of Dunbar Community School on High Street. That's where all of us are. That's where we go to commute for our community. It's our community school. We have some ladies here who've come out. He's got a who's who who's come out. I just hope y'all show up for me like this one day, boy. <laughs> I mean, that guy got a who's who crowd out there. We have the distinguished uh, executive director of the Fort Myers Community Redevelopment Agency, uh, Michelle Hilton Terry. We had Rose Edie Govan, who does everything and is a retired educator as well. If it's dealing with children, is dealing with the arts, I would, I would say she's also a filmmaker, yes. uh, playwright. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, did I get everything yes. in? So you didn't know I was going to know. Singer. Oh, oh, you sing too? Musician. Yeah. That's right. I saw you sing. <laughs> Um, and we all come out for this gentleman who moves around slowly and makes a huge impact on the community. Tell us who we're talking about, Rose. Uh, we're talking about George Kenneth Burns. I met George, uh, I met Ken uh, when he first came to uh, Fort Myers. Um, I'm a member of Friendship Missionary Baptist Church and that's the, and that's the church uh, that he joined. He and Shirley joined, and uh, so I met him then, and later on I found out that he could sing. Mm -hmm. So then he joined the... See, I didn't uh, even know Ken could sing. Yes, yes. You heard me tell the story how I saw him sitting up in the pulpit. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't know he was a minister. Yes, Ken sings. Uh, he, in fact, he sings in our Brotherhood Chorus, uh -huh. and uh, he's just an all-around wonderful good guy now he's sitting back right now at home looking at this okay because okay, he's gonna be looking at all, all the way right. so what would you like to say to him Ken I, I want to say that uh, first of all I want to say welcome to the club mm -hmm. you're tired <laughs> it's an exciting and wonderful club uh, you got you won't get used to it until the first day of school and then you'll realize that you are retired <laughs> <laughs> But I, I want to say that I, I wish you the very best. I, I want you to enjoy life, travel, just have an all-out good time because you deserve it. Because, you know, you, you, you spent your life and your passion working with children. And it's time for you now. So and, enjoy. And Ken, I know you were in the program. We saw you up on the stage being big time. You like up there looking like, you know, Barack Obama. And and uh, and um, and what's the wife? Um, Michelle. Michelle. Looking like Michelle <laughs> Obama. You guys are being celebrated here, and people dressed all up. You know, I got on my Sunday. Day. We dressed up for you, bro. I yes, I, I could have yes. worn my Sigma T-shirt for this. But, hey, hey, Ken. I want you to know. I know I'm a Sigma, but me and you get along just like brothers. I appreciate you letting me have the opportunity to come here and have some fun. Enjoy your retirement. And your Kappa brothers were uh, were good uh, good uh, team players in all of this, okay? Because you had many uh, your fraternity brothers that you could have picked to do this, and you called me up, so I, I finally crossed over, and uh, uh, I think I have a reputation of working with everybody, right? Yes, you do. Okay. Yes, you do. Yeah, let's get over here to the lovely Michelle. Not not saying that Rose is <laughs> lovely, so let me make sure I say the lovely I Rose. Understand. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let me work this in as an educator, though. Bro, let me work this in. You guys, both of y'all appreciate this. Okay, so when I was a kid in school, mm -hmm. and I, I when I spoke at the uh, Head Start, mm -hmm. the National Head Start Conference, mm -hmm. because in 1966 when Head Start started, started yeah. uh -huh. I was a part of the original program. Oh, okay. So Good. they they sought me out and and conclude that I had done some significant things with my mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. So they had me to come speak at the National Conference of Head wonderful, Start. Wonderful. Right. Thousands of people there. Mm -hmm. Here's a gap in poverty, 1966. Now he's mm -hmm. bank vice president, TV talk shows, Hall mm -hmm. of Fame, switch all that. And so I went up to speak before all those people. And I told those educators this. I said, every child in your class, if you tell one child they have a beautiful name, mm -hmm. you tell all the other exactly kids their name right. is beautiful. Exactly so right. when the teacher used to call exactly. roll, right? Yes. Somebody named Zachary. Oh, what a beautiful name. Mm -hmm. Girl named Lapradia. Oh, what a beautiful name. Mm -hmm. Then when they get to Lee, 
present, don't say nothing, go mm -hmm. to the next person, you know. So I'm like, my name yeah. is not beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, everybody laughed and they yeah. got the point though. Mm -hmm. You can't be singling out no, certain. You can't. That, no, that you impacts can't. kids. No, that made can't. me think my name Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I had a little simple name. You know, you know nothing exotic. But they didn't say it was a nice name. You know, so remember that, teachers. Yeah, teachers, teachers um, have to have compassion. Yes. They have to be understanding uh, because you never know where a child is coming from or what household he or she is coming from. And I built my educational experience on that. I tried to make sure every child was appreciated in my class because I felt like it's very important. For them to know that you do appreciate them mm -hmm. and they are important. And Ken, I know you're hearing this and you've done that. And a lot of youths, people who've grown up and come out to celebrate you as well that you impacted. Michelle, uh, you have um, done a great job with your sons. And I see you with pictures. I think this could be your grandkids now who've grown up and done well as well. And uh, the impact of a teacher like a Ken Burns on those kids means what? It's lasting, Ken. You've done an amazing job. And not only do you impact your students, but you impact everybody you meet. As you've uh, made such a great impression on me, I'm so proud of you and, and all your accomplishments and just everything you've done. And the way you carry yourself is, um, is commendable. And I really want to acknowledge you for, for what you've achieved and wish you like the happiest retirement that you really get to enjoy life now and do what you want to do. Yes. Right. You have yes. made a difference for others. It's now time to take time for yourself. I call them a role model. I don't really call people role models. I don't throw that all around. And I, you are actually somebody that I feel really comfortable calling a role model. Oh, yes. Tell us, uh, when, what do you recall early days when you first met Ken, your impression of him and as a family man, as a, as a, as a Christian, diehard religious man, and just a community leader, Cap Alpha Psi, all of that? Well, you know, it's always great um, for me as a, I was a single mom for a long time. And when you meet a man that you feel is upstanding, that's a role model, that's someone who treats people well, and and um, it just it touches my heart. And you've always been so respectful, and just I appreciate you as a human and as a gentleman. And um, I just think you're great. And I thank you for how you've always treated me. We're, we're paying and letting Zion pan the uh, audience as we continue to wrap this up. Uh, Rose, it looks like a who's who in Southwest Florida has come out to pay respects to the quiet giant Ken. What does that say about him? It's a testimony. Mm -hmm. I think it's a testimony to a life well lived. And that's what we should want. We shouldn't want the accolades and all of this. It's how you impact people. Mm -hmm. And if you impact people, they will come. That's they right. will come. And, and this is a testimony of his uh, impacting them. Ken crossed people. over as well. This is an AKA, this is a Delta, this is a, si <laughs> this is a Sigma. <laughs> The dude crossed over, man. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody's here. We Everybody's here. And we don't care. One, no. Locally, we have a real great relationship between yes. all this Greek yes, letters. Yes, we do. Attorney. We do. But in general, we, we still came out. We still have a special appreciation for Ken. Absolutely. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. The um, I said that um, Ken had done well in terms of choosing his wife, Shirley. We know you at home looking at it, too. Mm -hmm. Talk about your Sarah, Shirley Burns. Well, I got to tell you, Shirley Burns, I just love you, Shirley Burns. And I know that you have been a great support to Ken over all these years. Um, I appreciate you. I love you. I love you both. Okay, Ken. So, uh, now, can I talk about my friend, Shirley? <laughs> go ahead. My church member and friend, Shirley, you're the best. I'm, I'm serious. I'm just serious, serious. You're the best. You wow. are the best. Short and sweet. Yeah. Well, Ken, we're going to talk to some more people. you retired now. We're going to do the work. We're going to carry on your legacy in education. And you just sit back, man, and enjoy it, man. We'll be right back. <laughs>